Believe it or not, I'm back with one more bonus takeaway from our series, The Kings and the King. There was so much I wanted to say and so much more material that I wanted to share, and yet I didn't have a chance yesterday, but from other things that were a priority. So I wanted to bring this extra bonus takeaway to you via this video format, and here's what it is. There are four things that, that we really have learned in all six of these books, in all 53 weeks, and let me just give them to you in a real succinct uh, kind of fashion. First of all, that God is holy, gracious, compassionate, and patient. And we see that through these hundreds of years of history, that He's exactly all four of these things to His people. We also see that man is fallen, selfish, adulterous, and stubborn. Our depravity, especially in that history of Israel's time, man, the depravity just really uh, is showcased, isn't it? And yet, in the middle of all that depravity, hope is promised sure, steady, and coming. And none of man's depravity thwarted God's sovereignty. And in the middle of all that, we find this fourth statement that repentance was necessary, productive, humbling, and healing. In fact, it was the one thing God kept calling for through the prophets, to repent. And so as the period closed and they were off in captivity and then they were brought back in 70 years, what is the one thing that the next prophet called for? You remember how they waited 400 years? Well, John the Baptist was the next prophet and he used the word repentance much. So even though they were back in the land and the remnant was surviving and though God was silent, when he did speak again, he still called for repentance. So these four succinct statements kind of help encapsulate these hundreds of years of Israel's history, that God is holy, gracious, compassionate, and patient, Man is fallen, selfish, adulterous, and stubborn, but hope is promised, sure, steady, and coming, and repentance is necessary, productive, humbling, and healing. Now watch this. Isn't that really just the gospel in a simple format? You know, we've taught you before that the gospel can be summarized in four words. God, man, Christ response. Isn't that those four statements, that God is holy, gracious, compassionate, and patient, yet man is fallen, selfish, adulterous, and stubborn, but the hope that is promised, sure, steady, and coming is Christ, and so repentance is necessary, productive, humbling, and healing? Do you see the gospel there? Woven throughout Israel's history, God, man, Christ responds. And sure enough, God delivered the gospel live and in person when he brought Christ, Jesus Christ, through the line of David to be born in Bethlehem. And so this Christmas, as your pastor, let me just wish you a, a rich Christmas, a, a merry Christmas, a deep and joyful Christmas as you contemplate and reflect on the kings and the king and realize that Christ is the ultimate fulfillment of everything God promised. Jesus is the living, personified gospel, the hope for all mankind. And I trust you have a very rich, joyful Merry Christmas as you think about and rejoice and worship the King of all kings.